This video will provide instruction on selecting and installing a transfer set. To begin the process of selecting a transfer set, tap Select Transfer Set from the Setup Wizard. The Source Solution Setup screen will open. Tap New when you are starting Apex for the first time of the day. Tap 26 to select the number of lines in the transfer set you will be using to compound orders. Tap the arrow for the drop-down menu listing your defined templates and highlight the template you want to use. Tap OK to return to the Setup Wizard. To begin the process of installing a transfer set, tap Install Transfer Set from the Setup Wizard. The Transfer Set installation screen will open. Obtain a transfer set package and visually inspect it to ensure the packaging is not compromised. Check that the seal is intact and that there are no holes in the packaging. If the seal is broken or the transfer set packaging is not intact, discard the transfer set. Using the barcode scanner, scan the label on the transfer set package. Apex will populate the lot number and expiration date in the appropriate entry fields and add green check marks to the right. To install the transfer set on the compounder, lift the detection sensor and pump doors and rotate the platen locks away from the platen to unlock. Using aseptic technique, introduce the transfer set package into the laminar hood and open its outer tray. The transfer set lies within the tray contained in a partial plastic sleeve. While keeping the transfer set contained within the partial plastic sleeve, position the manifold on the edge of the transfer set tray. Inspect the macro and micro valves to ensure the slots in the valves form a straight line. When these slots are in a straight line, the valves are in the correct orientation and the transfer set is appropriate to use. Remove the transfer set by grasping it by the partial plastic sleeve designed to protect it from contamination. Ensure that the transfer set's tubes remain coiled, its caps remain in place, and no part of the transfer set touches anything outside of the laminar flow hood. Align the transfer set on the manifold and press down to ensure it is fully seated. You will hear clicks as the transfer set locks into place. Remove the two tapes that surround all of the transfer set lines. As you uncoil the lines, inspect each one for kinks and to ensure that all of the caps are in place. If any of the caps are off any of the lines, discard the transfer set. Place the transfer set lines over the vial rack until you are ready to use them. Route the tubing through the occlusion and bubble detection sensors, ensuring that it is pressed firmly into the sensor paths. Pull the strain relief clip slightly in the direction of the pump rotors and press it into place. Failure to properly install the tubing in the occlusion and bubble detection sensors can result in leak check failures and or occlusions during the priming process or the pumping of final containers. Install the tubing around the pump rotors, ensuring that it is centered vertically on the rotors and not twisted. Place the union junction on the platform to the right of the pump rotors and listen for the clicks as you lock it into place. Insert the outlet tube into the slot on the right side of the pump module with the end captured in the hook on the right side of the vial rack. Rotate the platen locks toward the platens to secure the platens in place around the tubing. The tubing should appear slightly compressed. Place the installation tool on top of the sensor housing. The tool's indentation fits in the center of the sensor housing. Press down firmly on the installation tool to fully seat the tubing into the sensor paths. The installation tool properly positions the transfer set tubing into the bubble and occlusion sensors. This represents an optimal installation. Carefully lower the pump and detection sensor doors until they lay flat over the rotors and sensors. If properly assembled, you should not meet with any resistance when closing the doors. Inspect the transfer set to ensure that it appears properly installed. If it does, tap Confirm. Tap Start to start the leak check. In the first part of the leak check, 
Apex will display the message exercising all valves while it rotates each valve of the transfer set. This step will take approximately two minutes. Apex will then perform the second part of the leak check to ensure the integrity of the transfer set. When Apex has successfully completed its leak check, the OK button activates. Tap OK to exit from the transfer set installation screen and return to the setup wizard.